Today we're installing or have installed uh, a track your truck equipment tracker on a New Holland C332 skid steer. Now it's not specific to this particular skid steer, it can be installed on any piece of equipment and I uh, had the technician here today that did the install, he's going to tell you a little bit about the considerations of where he put it electrically, how he connected to it, you have to get on constant 12 volts and ignition 12 volts and ground. And um, so why don't you go ahead and take it over. A lot of these machines will come with um, aftermarket accessory harness points. Uh, in this case I found one that was not in use that had the three requirements that he just mentioned that we needed. So I unpinned the three wires that, that we needed and uh, formed a T with conduit. I was instructed to mount this outside of the cab for good signal and it is waterproof. So I used 3M adhesive and mounted it on top of this engine shroud and ran the wire in such a way that it wouldn't interfere with seals. So the units are IP67. They'll withstand all of the um, you know, water and, and weather and such that you can throw at them. They have a vibration spec too, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. You can mount them inside, but they're not gonna see good through metal. So if you can mount it somewhere where they'll see through plastic, you know, you're good to go there. But obviously with this type of device, if you mount it in the cab and you're getting power down here, the cab has to move up and down for service. So um, that could be a little tricky with your wiring. Connector yep. can be repinned if you ever did want to yeah. use the accessory that it was intended for. Good point. He did a great job with it. It's real clean, it's easy to access. If you had to take it off for some reason, and move it to a new piece of equipment, say you're trading this equipment in, you can do that. They all come with a, a one year warranty. So um, that's it.